Hello, it is Sunday, June 4th, 2023. Hi, I'm Chris Primo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday puzzle today, so an extra large grid, and I have um, an extra compressed amount of time in which to solve it. So <laughs> uh, under a bit of a time crunch today, I hope it, it isn't too um, too much of a slog. Um, I'm sure the puzzle will be high quality, but they do always take a while. So we'll see if we can get through it on the slightly, slightly quick side. Um, in any case, uh, this hopefully, hopefully not too long edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Noah, Bez uh, Noah Bezanson, sorry, Madeline Lee, Tom Nemchek, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shawmaster, and the incredible uh, Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily, Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are keeping this channel going, and for that, I'm very, very much appreciative. Um, if you are a patron, or rather, if you'd like to become a patron, well, if you're a patron yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash dailysolve and check out all of the bonus videos to which you're entitled, or to which you could be entitled. And that includes the um, mini puzzle speed solve, the weekly mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, the most recent of which went up yesterday. And I agree with the assessment of Rahul Ricky in the uh, Daily Solve Discord chat server that this past week's minis were tougher than usual. I did not have my, it was not my finest week of mini solve times. I did get one good time in there at the end, so I was pleased about that. Um, and tomorrow, I think, will be posted the uh, June monthly bonus puzzle from the New York Times. So look forward to that as well. And thank you to everybody who is a patron, of course. And you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server and uh, don't forget to join the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not done so. All right. Thank you to everybody who's done any of those things. And let's get on to today's crossword. This is a Sunday puzzle, so it has a name. It's entitled Flying Colors. And we can see some colors poking through the gauzy privacy veil here. So that speaks to some sort of theme. We don't yet know what it looks like. They're primary colors, red, red, yellow, and blue. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. This is a construction by Raphael Musa. Uh, this is his third construction for the New York Times crossword, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see how we fare. Blank number, how many cognitive limit to how many relationships a person can maintain? I don't know. I've heard of this concept, but I don't, I don't remember whose number it is. Heavy cart pulled by a carriage is a dray. That I do know. And sorry, I don't think so. Um, no, maybe? I'm not confident about that. Let's look at the crosses. Taunting response to a challenger. Something you? Who you? Yay, at internet speak. Mm. Bit of bedroom furniture. Oh, an armoire? There we go. You could have a nice armoire. And sorry, I'm trying not to cough. I've had this persistent cough for days, which is why sometimes the videos this week have had little edits in them so that I can edit out my coughing or my water to prevent the coughing. <laughs> it's really just that always, I have no other symptoms. I'm not sick, but I just, these coughs when they tend to linger with me. Um, book jacket bit, a bio maybe, bio of the author. And woof could be an arf from a dog. Get a better rate for short. Refi, we could refinance your mortgage, maybe. Get a better rate. Um, blank number, Dunbar's number, it looks like. Sorry, I had to take a break for coughing and water. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who Dunbar is, but there we go. I think it's probably the answer. A small bump could be a nodule. You could have a little, uh, some kind of, I don't know, sort of like a cyst or something, I guess. Intermittently on and off. There we go. Okay, so... So that's one of our highlighted areas. What does it mean? I don't know. Anyway, park a relative could be an anorak, a, a kind of, um, you know, a fur-lined jacket. I think an anorak generally has that. Well, I guess it doesn't need to, but it's, you know, it's that kind of thing. Uh, Catherine of Schitt's Creek is Catherine O'Hara, Catherine O'Hara. And taunting response to a challenger. 
Oh, it is who you. Right. Sorry. That's what I had in there before. Um, yay in internet speak is... Still not saying it. Implement used with a Venetian for cola. Is that... That must be one of the gondolas. It must be an oar, um, famously of, of Venice. Um, yay in internet speak is wow. So... Wowie? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Screwdriver component. Oh, or a description of 37 across. Oh, right. So will will 18 be a description of 17 across? Yes, it will. They're right on an electoral map. Red states. Ah, yes, here we go. So, uh, so this clue is referring to states that lean towards the Republican Party in the United States, which is the right, right-leaning party in the United States as opposed to left. And uh, and on and off are two examples of states. So, uh, in other words, states of of uh, you know you could have logic gates, for instance, with two states, um, and uh, and they're red <laughs> because they are colored red. And so there we go. All right. So we'll have what six of these? Yes, we'll have six of these. So what was what is this one? Screwdriver component or a description of thirty seven across? And what is thirty seven across? Olympic no nos. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Um, actor, activist, George. Hmm. I mean, it could... Actor, activist, George. could be George Takei from Star Trek. Then this would be wrong. Oh, Woot! Woot, right. Okay, I haven't seen that one in a while, actually. That was sort of an early internet thing. Maybe maybe people do still say it. I don't know. Okay, buy is... Oh, right, and screwdriver can... Oh, orange. Oh, it's screwdriver the cocktail. It's screwdriver the mixed drink, not uh, the tool. So uh, it's orange juice. What is it? Orange juice and vodka, I think? Uh, screwdriver component, orange juice, and then Olympics. No, no. Oh, Juice. This will be what steroids or something? Um. No, oh, right, because that's that's referred to as juicing. Right. Okay, I had to take another pause there. Sorry about this. Ah, oh, it's really the worst. Um. Okay. Anyway, so yes, steroids, juice, and here we have orange juice. So there we go. All right. Uh, blank to Dias, God's eye. Um, is it, is it Oyo, Oyo? I think that's I, it's some, it's in Spanish, it's something like that. Start of some city, California city names, Los is in Los Angeles and, uh, prefix with pod, orthopod, no, uh, hmm, I can think of a lot of five letter <laughs> prefixes for this, or at least a few. Uh, relief is sucker. You'll find someone will, someone will sort of give you sucker if you're in need of, I don't know, relief, I guess is what, is what we're saying here. So prefix with pod. Oh, octopod. How about that? That looks, that looks right to me. So that's an eight footed uh, animal, I would think. And then agenda bit, you could have an item on an agenda for a meeting. And food truck offerings. Oh, you could have a taco truck, tacos. All right, private plane producer Cessna. You always hear about Cessna private jets. And a core group. Oh, your abs, the core of your body. Copywriter is a scribe, someone who writes copy, writes text. And indeed is, it is so, I suppose you could say in a formal way. Silty soil. Um, do I know this? And Sharon, who has a Pulitzer Prize for poetry. Oh, I don't know that either. I don't think offhand. Take a bad turn. Take a bad turn. And tiny... Oh, no, never mind. And tiny pest is an ant. In three letters with a T, I think, probably. Actress Long of Boys in the Hood. Nia Long, I think. And gets started on sets two 
you sort of set to do something, you get started on it. Uh, bylines are so the question mark here is is helping out because we think of, you think of a byline and you think of a line that indicates authorship and usually in a journalistic article, but here we're spelling buy as in purchase. So what is that? One time set of 13, oh, the 13 American colonies before uh, becoming the United States and Silty Store. Oh, is it Los? You know, I'm probably pronouncing that terribly. That was what I thought when I first saw this, but I wasn't very confident, so I didn't put it in. But I do think, especially with that O, I recognize it. And and uh, it's one of those words I've not had called to say really in my life. So probably not saying it properly. So by the, oh, slogans, lines deployed to help convince you to buy something. And then Sharon Olds has a Pulitzer Prize for poetry. That must be right. Take a bad turn is to go, oh, to go south. Right, you could say the situation went south. It took a, took a wrong turn, it took a bad turn. Uh, reference for exploring America, U.S. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, U.S. Atlas. Yeah, that could be it. So a book of maps. And then to tightly enclose is to seal something in. A glam rock band with six number one hits in England in the 1970s. Is it Slade? I wonder how they determined it was specifically England and not the UK more broadly. Um, what's the deal? What's the deal? Oh, it's sale. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, something's on sale. There's a deal. I don't know why that was difficult. Canadian gas brand is SO. Um, that's a derivation of standard oil. SO. And the one in a sci-fi film series is Neo from the Matrix films. All right. An earthy pigment is ochre, I would think. Um, kind of an earth tone. And then to deal with someone is to... Oh, maybe this is ochre ER and this is C2. You deal with somebody or something, you see to them or it. And one of four on most keyboard. Yeah, okay, it must be this, because then this can be an arrow, one of four arrow keys, all right? Part of the Statue of Liberty that's about four feet long. Uh, her toe, one of her toes, I suppose it must be. That is extraordinary. Um, folklore creature is an elf, I would think. And Marley and Marley and Me, e.g., or a description of 48 across. Um... I've never read Marley and Me. Uh, let's see. Yellow. Oh, well, I could... Right, of course. It didn't occur to me that I could just put in yellow as a color because that'll be the beginning of it because it's describing that. So yellow... Oh, is is Marley... A, Marley's a dog, right? A yellow lab, maybe? Negative space. So this is a lab. Negative space. A dark room? Yes, because you're developing film negatives. You do that in a dark room and you turn them into a photograph. Okay, if you're by something or someone, you're near them. And ornamental tree with fan-shaped leaves ginkgo. Is that spelled like this? I think that I think it has this unusual KC construction there. English meaning of the Portuguese A? I don't know. Is it? I mean, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm sure it's and. That's pretty common in European languages. Um... Outcome with no winner is a draw, right, of course. And actress Terry, Terry Gar, oh, no, it's Ginkgo, not with a C, with another G. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Terry Gar is an actress I recognize, so uh, maybe that's a bad idea, though. Or not, you could say. And to have something is to own it. Aleppo's land is Syria. Titus in the WWE Hall of Fame. Titus... O'Neill, I guess, maybe. I don't know, but that would fit, and it's a name. To burn is to scald something. And, oh, right, is this our revealer? With 58 across, what's represented by this puzzle's colored stripes? So this is the, this is the revealer. This is the answer that will tie this whole thing together and explain what's going on with these colors, although I think we've basically figured it out. But what is this? Oh, is it the pride flag? Oh, that's very clever. And of course it's June, so it's pride month. There we go. Okay. So there's our revealer and it's in an unusual place, rough, roughly in the middle 
of the grid vertically anyway. Um, but there we go. That's very good. And that is nice. It's nice that it is um, specifically referring to something um, and not just sort of, it's fine if it were just a general collection of color clues, but, um, but this makes it a little nicer. All right, there we go. So this does look like O'Neill, doesn't it? And then something that can be dead that was never alive. Doornail? Dead as a doornail? I don't think that's what it is. Uh... Oh, but it could be a nail. You could have a dead nail. I don't know if a, if a nail counts as being alive or not, like a fingernail. Kind of diet that eschews processed foods. A plant diet? What is the... Uh, no, it doesn't really fit. The crosses don't look good. City between Gainesville and Orlando. Oh, so this is Florida. Ocala is a Florida city that has come up pretty often in crosswords. I think it's even come up in the plus word that I solved, which is a British crossword, which makes it even more surprising. Um, kind of diet that eschews processed foods. What is it? Oh, paleo. Right, yes. Okay, the paleo diet does that. And 12th most common street name per the, per the U.S. Census Bureau. Interesting. Most common street name. Oh, I have no idea. Baker? Baker Street? Um, I, have no, I just have no idea. Playlists are... Uh, cue sheets or something? The question mark. I'm wondering if it's referring to plays in a dramatic production. I don't know. Okay. Help. SOS, maybe? Let's try it and see if it works. Fall bloom could be an aster. That's a flower. And another common crossword, bit of common crossword fodder. What are you doing? You might ask somebody indignantly. And a Bay Area airport code could be SFO, San Francisco International Airport. Okay. Dressing room assessment could be whether the fit, did these clothes fit? And a gender neutral possessive pronoun is uh, one's, as in one's bearing or one's behavior, something like that. Um, multitude could be uh, a sea, a sea of faces, a multitude of faces, and bureaucracy surrounding environmental regulations, or a description of 676 across. Well, this will certainly be green something green. Oh, green tape. All oh, right. Yeah. I'm actually surprised I've not heard that phrase before because it it's pretty logical given the concept of red tape generally being bureaucratic regulation. So um, so device with a pair of spools, um, audio tape or videotape or... Oh, no, we're not going to use the word tape. No, we're not. Well, maybe a, th a projector, device with a pair of spools. Sorry, I need another break there. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I don't know. I'll be annoyed when I get it. It'll be obvious in retrospect. Language from which Alaska gets his name. Was it Aleut? Uh, no, A-U-T, I think. Aleut. I think that's right. Is that actually the answer? Let's see. Before once could be air, so an archaic or poetic way to indicate before. Clickable address could be a URL, so uniform resource locator. I don't know that a URL itself is intrinsically clickable. It's just a, it's just the address itself. It's only cl clickable if it's a hyperlink, technically. <laughs> anyway, there's some pedantry for you. And to work well with somebody is to gel with them. Support for a dancer bar. Um, I mean, I know that that is, I know the bar is, is a dancing concept. I, I don't know exactly how it's support for a dancer, but that's not me challenging the clue. That's just me not fully understanding. Um, I'm sure to many of you, it makes perfect sense. Uh, device with a pair of spools is a cassette. Yes, the cassette tape itself is a device and there's a pair of spools inside of it that are, that are turned by the cassette tape player. All right, there we go. And tiny building blocks are Legos, which <laughs> here's time to be a pedant again. There are always people who comment on it and I agree with them. It is not Legos, it is Lego, just collectively, or Lego bricks. Okay, competitor of the vitamin shop. Oh, GNC, I think. They, you see those sometimes vitamin stores. Um, and what a face emoji often lacks, it often lacks a nose, I think, that sounds right. Dungeons and Dragons fixture. 
a, a cleric. That would be a sort of character someone might play in Dungeons and Dragons, I think. Cleric. That looks right. And then tarot card figure classically depicted in ragged clothing. It must be the fool. And to make more secure in a way is to fasten something and tie a knot to something like that. And slow moving creatures are sloths, of course, famously. Uh, French pet name that means cabbage. I think Chu. Chu, I think. I think that's right. Could call someone that, someone intimate. And I in the Greek alphabet, Iota. There we go. Oh, and then we have I in the NATO alphabet. That's what, India maybe? I've never, I, I always forget that I should just really memorize the NATO alphabet because this is useful in life to be able to spell, especially spelling things over the telephone. Anyway, word with gas, word with gas or think. Uh, ga oh, gas tank or think tank. There we go. And time in history could be an era of history. And to deviate from is to de divert from? Not sure. Major wine producing country and a, oh, and a province in that country. Oh, Italy. And Asti? I always forget if this is Asti or something similar to it. I think it's Asti. Uh, let's check the crosses. Like a glib answer, you could give a pat answer, be very glib, not, not be sincere and not take it seriously. Uh, deviate from, oh, to deviate from is to depart from. You could deviate from the plan, depart from the plan. There we go. And a 2014 boxing documentary, Ali. Well, that makes sense. Uh, I am Ali, maybe? There have been numerous documentaries that use that kind of title construction. Irish Rose Lover. Anne or Anna Dishevel. I don't know. Let's, let's look around. Lil Nas X is a rapper and palindromic Steely Dan album title. I think it's AJA. I actually don't know. I never, I never got very closely acquainted with Steely Dan. I, I know of this album. I don't know if it's meant to be pronounced AJA or AJA. I actually don't know. Um, but this looks like Blue Jackets, an NHL team from Ohio. Or a description of 93 across. Oh, well, it, yeah, it is going to be blue something, and it almost certainly has to be blue jacket. So what is this one? Double-breasted outerwear. Oh, right, okay, so so jack, this will be some kind of jacket. Double-breasted outerwear. Is a, is a peacoat double-breasted? I think it is. So this could be, and it's it's certainly outerwear, which is why it comes to mind. So this could be peacoats. Um... Yeah, that fits. Let's look. Playlists are casts, lists of actors in a play. Oh, what about this? This is almost done here. Oh, Maple. It must be Maple Street. So something that can be dead that was never alive. Dead male. Why was that? What, is that male that's lost? Or what is that? What does that mean? I mean, this must be Maple. Strike. Smite? You could strike someone, smite them. Sort of has a biblical kind of tenor to it. And Belgian painter James Enzor. There we go. Meet James Enzor, Belgian's famous painter. And a circumferaneous sort. A nomad, someone who is circumferaneous. That sounds like someone who sort of traverses over a wide area. I wasn't familiar with that word, circumferaneous. That's a good word. I'll have to, um, I'll have to look it up after the, after the solve. Okay, a year in Portugal. Ano or Ano? I think last time this came up, someone pointed out there's a difference in, between Spanish and Portuguese. Which of these years has the N with the tilde, maybe? I could be misremembering that. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if I'm misremembering that, and if not, which is which. <laughs> All right, cry before overtime. It's over? I don't know. Okay. DMV issuances. License. So this is the Department of Motor Vehicles in the U.S. Um, licenses or records? Did they issue records? Hmm. Not sure. 
I'm sure it'll be obvious when I see it. Samoan capital is, I want to say Appia. Yeah. I'm fairly, I'm fairly confident that's correct. Title TV character who's, oh, this I do know. Title TV character whose name is an acronym is ALF, the, what does it stand for? I think it's alien life form, um, who's the sort of extraterrestrial character from the sitcom of the same name. I don't know if I ever really saw ALF. I mean, I was, I think I was maybe too young. Part of a modern entertainment system is, I don't know, actually. And actually is, fact is, yeah, you could say that. You could say, oh, fact is, this happened the other day. Or actually, this, yeah, that, that, that works, I think. Oh, so DMV issuances are ID cards because a driver's license essentially serves as an ID card. There we go. Okay. So part of, oh, LED TV. Oh, right. Okay. I was thinking of, I guess, I don't know. I was thinking of, I suppose, the things you plug into a TV, but... No, it's the television itself, the LED TV. And subject line abbreviation is attention. You could say attention, you know, whomever, some sort of someone's name. Did some paddling, you canoed maybe up a river. And bygone medical therapy used, sorry, bygone medical device used in electrotherapy or a description of 111 across. So this is violet, violet ray. That's, I think I've heard of that. I couldn't, I mean, I don't really know anything about it. Bygone medical, violet ray. I mean, it's, it just sounds vaguely familiar. It's another thing I'll have to look up. So what about this one? The Martian Chronicles author, that's Bradbury. Oh, right, so Ray, Ray Bradbury. We have a violet ray here, a violet Ray Bradbury, the author of the Martian Chronicles. There we go. Okay. I remember reading the Martian Chronicles um, as, I guess, I don't know, I was probably... 10 or maybe 12 or something. And I just found it a completely odd, sort of sensorily overwhelming book. It was so, I found it so strange and abstract. I'd probably find it less so if I read it now, but I remember at that age, it was such an unusual collection of imagery. It really affected me in a, in a sensorily. It was strange. Uh, letters by some bars. Uh, I don't know. Twist and Shout and Yesterday for the Beatles. Oh, EPs, right, okay. Those were released as singles um, on EPs, EPs, which are the smaller, smaller vinyl discs. Okay, film battle sequence, e.g. is a, oh, set piece. It could be a set piece moment in the film, a kind of big centerpiece sort of thing. And letters by some bars, what is, so what is this? Oh, I don't know. Spade, say, D, O, D, sex, a pet, for instance, a, a dog or a cat, and cry before overtime, it's, oh, it's a tie, oh, right, of course, it's a tie, and then the game could go into overtime, yes, depending on the sport, and Triceratops contemporary informally, T-Rex must have lived at the same time as Triceratops, you never know with dinosaurs because they span such a broad time period, but there we go. Okay, ciao is peace. You could say goodbye to somebody, and relaxed is at ease. If you behaved like an ass, I suppose like a literal ass, the animal, you braid. Made a loud noise. And then TSA offered program informally is a pre-check, which I think referred to often informally as pre because the logo sort of just looks like the word pre, and then it has a tiny little green check after it. Uh, it's, I don't think it's a very well-designed logo. <laughs> um, anyway, dom but it's a great program if you, if you're eligible to sign up for it. Uh, dominoes EG are tiles, such as dominoes used in the game of dominoes and oops, and consumer to consumer marketplace, eBay, of course. And, uh, you can buy things online from other people. And GPS suggestion is a route. Satisfied sounds are ahs you might make in a spa or something. And theatrical lines that break the fourth wall, often asides in a theatrical performance, will break the fourth wall and be meant for the audience. Okay, so what is this? Oh, maybe it is I am Ali. What about this one? Dishevel. Oh, you could muss someone's hair, dishevel it. And then this looks like it looks like atheist. He has an unfaithful sort, someone who doesn't possess religious faith. And then Irish rose lover is 
uh, AB, I guess. And then an RSVP tally is yeses, the people who have RSVP'd yes and will come to your function or whatever it is. And there we go. All right, that was not too outrageously long a solve, fortunately. It was made artificially even slightly longer by all of my uh, little breaks that I'm going to have to now go and edit out of the video so you don't hear me coughing away. Very sorry about that. And uh, and we have this nice Pride Month, Pride Flag color theme, which is, uh, which is delightful. So let's go through it and take a look. We had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, and those are um, representing our states, our juice, our, our lab, our tape, our jackets, and our ray. Um, very good. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's very clever. This was very well done. And are these, yeah, these are, I think, all symmetrically positioned and therefore of equal length, given that the grid itself is um, symmetrical. And it's a nice, it's sort of just a nice, unusual looking grid. It's kind of framed and there's this nice sort of swirls in there. Yeah. It's, uh, I wonder if this, does the grid art in the middle represent anything? I can't, I can't see that it does, but I'm, I'm not always the best at identifying that. Um, so let me know if I am missing something there. Anyway, yeah, a very, a, a very nice and um, appropriately timed puzzle from Raphael Musa. That's a good one. And Hope you enjoyed it as well. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow for the Monday crossword, a much quicker solve. And, um, well, I was going to say much simpler. I mean, this wasn't a particular, this was probably on the slightly, I would say, slightly gentle side for the Sunday. But again, let me know how you do feel about that in the Daily, Daily Solve Discord server or uh, in the comments below the video. I'm always, I'm always curious to know that as well. Um, but I thought this was relatively gentle, which was nice for me today, given my time constraint. And speaking of that, I'm going to head off. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow for the Monday puzzle. Join me for that as well, if you like, and I uh, hope you do. Until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Bye.